Okay, today we're playing a game on the Temple of Anubis. We are playing Winston the entire way through, and there is no actual SR today because this was one of those scrims, or whatever the kids are calling them these days, so it's just a custom game, basically. As I recall, we were platinum, but most people in the game were low diamond. I don't, I'm not 100% certain on that. Anyway, our current team composition is Winston, Diva, Genji, Farah, Mercy, and Lucio, so... Holy average and unremarkable. We've got mercy. That's the important thing. So let's start the game. So this is how you know everyone's trying hard. We go out the left-hand door on Temple of Anubis instead of going out the main door. Whoa. Unbelievable. So there's a lot of talking happening in the background. And there's a lot more coordination than your average game. We'll see that. I'm really sad we do. If we, this game ends a little bit weirdly. Uh, we don't actually see the defending side of this map. We basically attack it twice, but we never see the defending side. And it's a shame because we were up to some shit on the defending side, but we never saw how it worked out. But because we didn't see it work out, I choose to assume we got him and that it was easy. Isn't this called Temple of Anubis Lost? We didn't see the loss, so we won. Don't worry. So as we were coming in, unfortunately, our mercy has been killed by the Widowmaker as we came in, which is very tragic. We are trying, oh, so hard to jump through those windows up there. It's a difficult angle for Winston to make it through. So now we're coming back over to try and get Mercy across, but Mercy's tripped, tripped the mine, so that means Widow can see her right now, so waits for a second, comes across. No problem. So our whole team's over there. Third time's the charm. Eh, we did it. Alright, Mercy was getting a little fucked up, but it's unlikely whoever it was can follow us, because it was probably Tracer. So now we are attacking them from the Backworth angle. Unfortunately, we have misaligned our jump, which kind of fucked that one up a little bit. So, we are going to go in right now. I would advise waiting, because of exactly what we can see Zenyatta doing, because we peek this corner, if YouTube would be so kind as to actually work for once of its life in its life but no that'd just be too simple oh god oh, i can't believe i'm gonna have to do video editing now and split a fucking track oh my god how terrible all because youtube can't just work Alright, so we should not, we should have exercised some caution because we peek the corner and we can see Zanyada is currently charging his right click and he's pretty amped up already. We can see he's got a full halo arrangement. You might not be able to see it on the video, but trust me, he's got the full halo arrangement going right now. So we don't really want to jump into that because of exactly what could happen right there where we jump forward and we take half our health and damage before we even really get anywhere and then we arrive basically fucked. Then Mercy tries to res us, but, oh, she was not allowed to do that one. So we should have exercised slightly more caution because Zenyatta's currently primed and ready to throw all his balls at us. And we do not want, we don't want to touch the balls because then it gets gay, as we all know. So they're all getting fucked in there, don't worry. It's okay, they used some ultimates, I'm pretty sure their Mercy used Valkyrie. So, it's fine. It's no big deal. We don't capture the checkpoint. It's okay, we get to attack a second time. Because it's not actually, like, on the ladder, so we could just push the redo button. So we're waiting for everyone to gather up. Someone's all the way over there by their lonesome... I'm not sure what we're still waiting for at this point. Like, isn't everybody here? What, what, what are we, uh... Oh no, Lucio. Lucio. Probably wasn't even really worth the res, because the, the res cooldown is 30 seconds. It would take Lucio like 12 seconds to get back here. It doesn't seem really worth it, but... I suppose we did just stand around waiting out there for a while, so... So we are now going up the right-hand side instead, and we've got their Zenyatta, but they're getting our mercy, which we don't want to have happen. We do know they have a tracer, so if YouTube would be so kind, am I going to have to video edit twice in one day? 
Oh, God, the horror. Jesus Christ. Oh, finally, we've done it. Oh, my God, the nerve of this video platform, I swear. Uh, so, we do know they have a tracer, so we should be, like, hanging back to make sure that Mercy doesn't get fucked by her. But she was actually largely getting fucked by Winston as well, which we can't really do much about. And in general, no one on our team can, except maybe D.Va, so... Uh, some switching would probably be recommended at this point, because we're gonna have a lot of trouble dealing with, uh, Winston. And they have a D.Va as well, right? I think they also had a D.Va. I don't remember. I'm pretty... Whatever. We can't kill their Winston, and their Winston's gonna kill our team. Because one of our team is Genji, and one of our team is Mercy, and we can do, like, nothing to stop him. Uh, Farah is also not overly concerned by Winston. So, nice, sick, juicy stagger on that Farah right there. We don't capture the checkpoint. I don't know if you can tell by how terribly this is going, but we don't do it. So, the, our Mercy is currently rezzing someone, like, right out in the open right now. Okay. And we know they have a Widowmaker. I'd probably put the bubble over the Mercy just to be safe, because she's doing that kind of out in the middle of nowhere. She dies anyway. And you can tell that she was upset about it, because I just heard, Oh, my fucking... Like, right really quietly in the background. That's how you know they play Mercy. That just sound of defeat in their voice when they die again. So, uh, currently going in, we die right before we get Primal Rage. We haven't built up Primal Rage over this entire period of time, have we? Oh my goodness, we, this went really badly. Um, it's okay. As you can see, the video is still quite long. No big deal. Uh... We're trying to... <laughs> so, I, someone was like, Nobody can die right now. Genji immediately dies right afterwards. So, we're gonna have to go and touch the point. We've got Primal Rage, at least, so we can hopefully touch it for a while. Here we go, but we're not touching it. It's okay, our whole team got killed coming in anyway, so even if we were touching it, it probably wouldn't have mattered. But we weren't touching it. So, now we're gonna redo. Uh, so we're gonna attack a second time. It goes better this time, up until it suddenly goes really badly. But it went better than that one. So that's an improvement. I've gotta go forward a fair few more times than I thought I did. There we go. You saw defend? No. Psych, we're attacking. I really wish we saw that defending round. You'll see when we get to the end of it. It's just, we were really up to some shit and I wanted to see how it went. Uh, so, I believe we have the same team comp. I'm trying to see if where Genji is at, or if it's not Genji anymore. So we don't go out the left-hand side anymore, we're not trying as hard anymore. Uh, even though they could quite easily have a Widowmaker again, and indeed they do. So, this time we go around the right-hand side, which is fair enough. The left-hand side wasn't really working out for us. Not that the right-hand side goes much better, and in fact, we do indeed get killed as we're coming in. Where did we take the big chunk of damage? We just get shot by Widow? Just got shot by Widow. Feels bad, man. Um, don't get shot by Widow. Ooh, what startling advice he gives. Good heavens, I know. Uh, we... <laughs> It goes okay. It still goes okay, because this little dog pile happens. We get rezzed. Both their tanks died. Now we can fight again. Their Winston got rezzed as well, but, like, we're in a really awkward position for them to fight him because they're a Tracer and a Widowmaker, so they don't really want to fight in that little nook, so because it didn't go terribly for us, it's okay. Then, both their supports are dead. Great. We didn't even really have to do anything. Nice. That's always the best when you don't actually have to do anything. That's why I enjoy playing tanks and supports. Sometimes you don't have to do anything at all, and those are the best games in the world. Especially if you're a lazy bum like me. Oh god, I have to split the video twice. Oh god, Jesus Christ. So, their Gen they, our Genji has just killed their Widowmaker. I was gonna say our Widowmaker has killed their Genji, which is looks like might have been what happened, but not quite. So, it's okay. They've got a Mercy as well. Mercy's a pretty cool hero. So, we're currently just sort of like hovering around in the bridge, not really doing anything, which is bad, because this is what our team is bad at doing. We're at dive comp right now. And we're like 
hovering around in the checkpoint for, like, no reason. We're getting told to back out, but, like, well, we just kind of hover around doing nothing for a while, even though that was basically the time to go because they were, uh, resing their Widowmaker. Like, did something happen? Like, why did we not go in right there? No, no, didn't even say back out. Widow it said Widow's back up, didn't say back out. I don't know why we don't go right there. I was hoping to listen and infer something, but no, we just kind of didn't do anything, even though that was like the time to go, because they were resing a person, and we're playing a dive comp, and we just took the first checkpoint, so we want to try and like roll over with the same momentum. So, now, the fight breaks out over here, really bad spot to fight because they've got a Sombra now and she's hacked that health kit. So anybody we fight down there, we're destined to lose to eventually. So instead, we just leave. And in general, we're having a lot of trouble surviving in this game as Winston. And basically, like, we're just sort of deathballing through, but then... We're really unfocused in the fights. It never really feels like we've got much focus in mind. We just kind of like bummer. Like we're with our team. We're going in with our team. But then the fight breaks out and we either die really soon upon arriving. And then when we are fighting, we're just kind of like all over the place. There's not very, uh, there's not much focus happening really. And in general, we're just having a lot of trouble surviving. Which, um, with the case of Winston usually means you're going in too aggressively, but we're, like, going in with our team. A few cases have been unfortunate, like when we got hit with the, uh, Widowmaker when we were pushing in. We shouldn't even, even have been up there, because, like, we've, we lost this fight, but we went forward anyway into the fight that we were losing. I just heard the Mercy go, oh, god damn, again. So that's how you know she plays wor Mercy. Just the sound of defeat and sadness. Um, so, uh, some of it's just been unfortunate, like that, where, like, the pushing on the first point with the Widowmaker, but, at this point, we might be better off changing off Winston, because we're having a lot of trouble surviving. Diva doesn't seem like she's having as much trouble surviving, so we might just be better off changing to Zarya to help the Diva do her thing, and then we can combo with, um... Uh, Farah and Genji as well because of Graviton, yeah. and we're generally having a lot of trouble surviving as Winston, and then in the fights we seem kind of unfocused. It might be a better idea to just change at this point because it's been 10 minutes of video, so like 8 minutes of gameplay, and it's just like not really been going great as Winston. So here's their Genji, we've just been informed he was behind us, our mercy is like they're on me. Yep, that's going to be what happens, especially if they're all uh, coordinated. Fortunately, Mercy was the only one who didn't get hacked. How about that? So she gets to survive. So we die right here. It's very sad that we get emped, of course. Um, basically, I was going to say we should have just ducked out of the way, but we actually got stunned by McCree, and that was why we ended up taking such a big chunk of damage. Um, I was hiding. We, like, when you got Primal Rage, you really want to survive to actually get to use the Primal Rage. And it's just, it's just unfortunate, really, again, because, like, we're chasing after the Sombra, we do actually kill the Sombra. But then, tragically, McCree's like, no fun today, and then we don't actually get to use the Primal Rage still. So, we could have played it more cautiously, but then we would have been full health just hanging out under the bridge for, like, not much reason, so that would be a really counterintuitive way to play. Unlucky is the moral of the story. Sometimes you're just unlucky, you know? It's just, it's how it is. Sometimes you walk out the door, and that Hanzo, he just fires the log right at your head, and it hits you, and you had no idea it was coming, but this tree just flew down the streets of Hollywood and hit you in the skull. What can you do? Happens sometimes. Uh, so... Maybe. Oh, look, we've got a friend called Keycaster, and our name is Flycaster. Oh, synergy. So, uh, we're trying to go around the right-hand side this time, it looks like. There's a Genji behind us. We're the only one who can really deal with Genji, so that's an important issue. 
Uh, we are also the one that's meant to deal with um, Widowmaker as well, but we kind of haven't really seen her that much at the same time. Like, when we have seen her, it's kind of been not an opportunity to get... Do they still have their Widowmaker? Or did their Widowmaker change to Sombra? That would be really weird. No, they have Geish Tracer and Genji now? Whatever, it doesn't matter. We, they've got a Genji, Genji's our problem. So we lost our Mercy to their Winston. Again, there's not much we can do about that because we're playing Winston. Um, unfortunately, don't actually manage to get anybody, like, don't manage to wallbang anyone in the closet either, and we just have to hobble away because we're losing this fight. I would just change off Winston. Because it's... it's there's not... Like, there's not that much we can really do. Like, we can kill their Genji, but honestly, their Genji just kinda isn't really coming in unless their team their team is actually fighting. And there's nothing we can do to protect our Mercy from the Winston, which is the thing that has presently been killing Mercy most of the time. As well as Tracer, but again, the Tracer and the Genji are like going in together because they're all coordinating as well. So believe it or not, there's actually some amount of teamwork happening in this game. Teamwork in Overwatch? I know, unbelievable. But... It might just be worth changing to Zarya or Roadhog, because Winston really doesn't feel like it's working out. We've just kind of been here the entire time. It feels like we've had almost no impact on this game. And honestly, from watching it, it's hard to see an avenue of making some great Winston play in here. The, so... If there, if you're playing a hero and you can see no way that it would, could, you could have done much better, the answer is probably just to change to a different hero instead, which is a concept that people also struggle with over in Overwatch as well, as I'm sure you've noticed when you see the Torbjorn sitting there diligently trying to build his turret as he's getting fucking murdered. And then the, the payload's like coming towards him slowly, but it's like that scene in Austin Powers where the guy is in the front, in the path of the steamroll. He's like, ah, uh, ah, uh, but it's Torbjorn and he's trying to build the turret in the path of the payload. Ah, uh, but he's gonna do it, goddammit. He's gonna use the molten core if he has to, and then still promptly do nothing with the molten core. But that got off onto a thing because I was suddenly just imagining a flat Torbjorn. But. Pe the the original point was people have trouble with that in Overwatch, but honestly, I don't see the play as Winston in a lot of these situations. Because like a lot of the issue is that our Mercy's getting fucked, and if she's getting fucked by Winston, we can't do much about that as Winston. And the two flankers are just kind of coming in together. By the time we even really realize Mercy's getting killed, she's kind of already killed. The Zarya bubble might help her actually, like, survive the situation. Or the Roadhog could kill the Winston, who keeps coming into us, as well as still threaten the flankers. Um, the moral is, I don't think Winston's really the play at this point. So now, we're trying to go in, we're trying to kill their Mercy, we killed their Mercy, nice. Now our Mercy's alive and theirs isn't, which is a significant improvement over almost every other team fight we've had. However, they use the D.Va ult, which kind of fucks with our jive, and then, oh no, we've been hacked. Fortunately, we don't have our ultimate to use right now, but D.Va ult followed by Amp really fucking kills your momentum, you know? Also, that man should not be playing Widowmaker anymore. Like, when they had a Widowmaker, fair enough, I suppose. Now look at it. Fucking hell. She's going to be getting flanked by all these boys and dove by these boys. What's she going to do? Well, the answer is not much. She did kill that Genji once, though, so he was probably really upset about that. But yeah, uh, team comp issue seems to be the problem from my uh, perspective. Uh, or maybe you go like, hey, uh, let's change the... Diva, because maybe you go, all right, they got flankers, Winston's good against flankers, let's keep the Winston, then the Diva changes. You know, we're in like a six, I can't hear what you're saying in this video, by the way, as well, because it didn't record you. Um, but, uh, we're in, we're in a, a six-man squad right now. 
The issue from my perspective is the team comp is just not working out. We should change something. The Widowmaker changed to Hanzo, by the way. So that's definitely what I had in mind, 100%. That's not, like, the exact same issue that Widowmaker was going to be having or anything, you know. Could play McCree, you know, that that would be an idea. Could play Reaper. Fuck, just fuck their tanks, you know. But no, Widowmaker looks at that team comp and goes, I've got it, Hanzo. I don't know, I'm not sold on that myself. Anyway, we're currently fighting and we're after their mercy. She's used Valkyrie. We're not going to get her anymore. And because their mercy have also, has also used Valkyrie, ah, that's kind of the you're going to lose this team fight kind of business, you know. Our mercy's also used Valkyrie, so it could go either way. Now, it doesn't go either way. They've got their D.Va ult again, which really harshes our jive, and we've got to duck out of the way. We get Primal Rage, so we can start using that. Again, we're not really focused. Every time we've used Primal Rage, I'm kind of just like, what the fuck is happening? Which is basically how I feel when I use it in-game as well, honestly. But, like, to the nth degree. Unfortunate timing on that bubble with the self-destruct right there. But there Genji, he's dashing around, he's using his blade right now. Mercy managed to res us, but she died. This is the last team fight, so this is the best we're gonna get. It doesn't work out. We don't win the fight, their spawn's right there, and we're 2v5, 2v6ing right now, so it just, it doesn't work. We don't. We don't, we don't win. Look, trust me, we don't win. So now I'm just gonna skip forward a little bit so you can see the the shit that we were gonna get up to. Oh, I, I have to just assume it worked out flawlessly. Cause I, watch, as soon as YouTube gets with it. Let's go back a little bit, let's get the full picture, right? So we've got a, a fantastic plan right now. We figured out high ground is pretty strong, right? So we're gonna, Oh, slowly get our way up here, but then wait for it. Wait for it. We're gonna look back and see some shit up there you don't usually see. Look, they're up. They're doing it. They're onto it. They're doing it. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Yeah, they've done it. They haven't had to go back and get the May. But, dude, think about it. We've got the whole squad on the high ground right now behind the Orisa shield. It's gonna go fantastic. They're looking right now like, what the fuck are they doing up there? They see the Orisa like, these guys... We don't see what happens. But uh, because we don't see what happens, I was just going to assume we aced it, and they didn't even get the first fucking tick. It was that easy. So, the uh, main thing that stands out in this game is, in team fights, we feel really unfocused. It never really feels like we're... We've got like one single, one singular thing in mind. We're just kind of like, oh, blah, blah, oh, um, you know, especially when we're using primal rage. And I'm just like, what are we doing actually right now? Um, and then like the other, the rest of it is just like, I don't think the team comp was meant for it, but we were really committed to that team comp. I'm, I, I don't see very many plays in here as Winston. The play I see is change the team comp slightly. But the biggest change we got was Widowmaker to Hanzo. Which is not quite the change I had in mind, but it is the change we got. Also, um, when you peek a corner uh, and you're getting ready to jump in, think about what you see real quick. Because like, I'm j it's just the Zenyatta thing. It's like you see the Zenyatta who's got five orbs floating above his head right there. Maybe wait like half a second to jump in so that you don't get blitzed by them. Also, thing with Winston, I swear to God this is a mechanic in the video game, no matter how stupid it sounds. 
There is a thing with Winston where when you're jumping at somebody, you want to fly at them ass first because then they can't headshot you. So it is just jump, immediately spin around, and then spin back around again as you're landing. And if the enemy team comp is something like a Widowmaker, a Zenyatta, a McCree, what have you, this will make you healthier when you arrive because you can't get shot in the head. And as you get higher, people get better at shooting you in the head as you approach. So no matter how stupid it sounds, it is actually strats. But the uh, focus, think about what you see. Use that ass as a defensive measure. There's a lot of padding back there, especially for a big boy like Winston. Use it for protection and... That's about it. I the I think the issue was team comp more than anything else. So, thank you very much for watching. If you did, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm more than happy to answer, and I hope you found the video helpful.